Hey guys, it's Brooke Sales here. I cover everything from faith, fashion, lifestyle, marriage. So if you love those things, then you will love this channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I prep my hair for a protective style. Um, our anniversary is in two weeks. And so we are gonna be going on a cruise to Jamaica, Cozumel, Mexico, and the Cayman Islands. And so I really wanted to get a protective style because obviously I have natural hair and I don't really wanna have to like go through the whole wash day process every day because we're gonna be going snorkeling and all this types of stuff. And Danzel actually just taught me how to swim. So I'm really excited about that because I'm like 26 now and I just learned how to swim. So I'm really excited to like enjoy vacation to its fullest. With that being said, I'm gonna try and keep in my protective style for six to eight weeks. The last time I had braids, I left them in for seven weeks. I don't know how long they're gonna last with me swimming. I am gonna try and use a swim cap on vacation. That being said, I do wanna try and make sure that I am prepping my hair properly. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the steps that I do to ensure that my scalp is clean, my hair is conditioned and strengthened, and just ready for me to stretch it out for um, the braid appointment tomorrow. So yeah, stay tuned guys. So to start off, I wanted to try out this Taraji P. Henson Never Salty a Sugar Based Scalp and Hair Scrub. I've never really done a scalp scrub before, but I keep hearing like all these reviews on like, you need to try exfoliating your scalp. And I'm like, if I'm about to have my hair in a protective style for like almost two months, it's probably the best time is to try and like exfoliate it would be for right now. So I was like, okay, let me give this a try. I think this was like $11.99 at Target. Um, and it does have like menthol in it. So you open it up and it has like these two like applicators here and it smells like really minty, like just me sniffing it. Like I'm getting a tingly smell. So I'm assuming you're supposed to do this before you shampoo because I don't want to put sugar on my scalp after I shampoo it because sugar can create yeast growth if that makes sense like that could cause like bacterial growth so i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna shampoo so it says the directions say to um basically apply to wet hair and rinse well so i'm just gonna use my little spray bottle here and just wet my hair up i just got back from the gym so Kind of on my little gym fit right now, but um oh, it's late Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. This is like I love this Mr. Bottle, but this is like a Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's a five day braid out. Um, I really didn't go that many places this week. I was actually like sick earlier this week, so I really didn't do much. But yeah, so I guess you just like apply it to the scalp. This is like trial and error, guys. Whoa, okay. And then you just, I guess. Oh, this feels good. The only way this could feel better is if I was at an actual salon, like, oh yes, ma'am. I always thought this would feel like weird, like you're using a scrub on your scalp, but it makes sense because it's like skin, obviously. So I don't know how thoroughly I can get this like throughout my entire head because like, you know, as black people, like, girl, you can't hardly see my scalp. So, like, I don't really know. Like, you know, I'd probably have to use up a lot of this. Because it's really thick. But what I will say is this is probably good if you are somebody who loves to lay your edges, like, every day. Like, I lay my edges... I don't really lay them that often. So, because when I do my wash and go, I legit, like, none of my edges are really showing. So I don't really like use a lot of edge control. I've had the same edge control since Christmas, around November-y time. So 
but I'm like, if you are like putting edge control in your edges every single day, this is probably good to help get that buildup out. Cause I know when I was laying my edges a lot, um, which is like when I'm like wearing like mini twists or like styles like puffs and stuff like that, you know, you can probably like, some people will get like breakouts around their edges just from like product buildup. So this is probably really good to help get all of that out but i'm liking this i guess i would have to see like when i get in the shower like is it tingly but what i can say is this is very therapeutic like especially if somebody else was doing this for you so i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this and then i will rinse it out and i'm gonna go ahead shampoo my hair and then i will come back to show you guys the next step okay guys so i just got done rinsing out the never salty sugar scrub and when i tell you so it had already started tingling a little bit but when i rinsed it out and started shampooing my hair it literally felt like a fresh wind on my scalp like whew. Like it just felt really good, like minty, tingly. And then I shampooed my hair three times. I'm looking a little ashy, ignore that. But I shampooed my hair three times because obviously I'm about to get it in a protective style. So I want my scalp to be clean and everything. But my scalp feels so clean. So the next step in this process is the deep conditioning treatment. Now, usually I do this when I'm in the shower, but for the purposes of this video, and just the easiness of filming it right here. I'm gonna do it right here. So I use the, I'm gonna be using the Affigy Keratin Two Minute Reconstructor. Um, I don't do a protein treatment that often cause I don't really put heat in my hair. I don't really do that much to like need this that often, but this is probably good. I would say maybe like once a month, once every six weeks, something like that. You kind of just have to know your hair and what you do to it. So if you're a person who loves heat, this is probably something that's really gonna be beneficial to you. Um, but I love to do a protein treatment before I apply heat or before I'm putting in a protective style just to give my hair like extra strength so that it's not breaking off in the style. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. Let's see what we work it with, okay. So, my hair is feeling obviously a little bit stripped because I shampooed it three times, but um, I use the Carol's Daughter Vanilla Shampoo. I have a whole wash and go routine and that shampoo that I use in that video is the one that I use still. I love it a lot. Um, and I was going to try out a new one. <clears throat> I was gonna try out a new one, but I was like, why? fix was not broke you know like especially right before a protective style like i don't want to like go get a new shampoo and i'm shampooing my hair and it's just not doing what it's supposed to do and then then what so i'm just gonna go ahead and wet my hair up again okay so let me just do a let me do a scalp check so this is what i love to do right before i get a protective style um something that i recommend is a scalp check so after you shampoo your hair because when i first started doing my own hair like back probably in college was when i like actually started like doing my hair because before that i was going to a salon once a month but when i first started shampooing my hair i wasn't getting everything off of my scalp like so i always do a scalp check um, and basically all I do is I just take a rat tail and I just section it down apart and take a good look at that scalp. Take a good look, like you should be able to scratch it and not have nothing coming up off of your fingernails. Um, and that's just a good way to, you know, make sure like you're not about to blow dry dirty hair or like you know you got your hair clean so i like to do that sometimes um i've mastered it at this point because that was like nine years ago when i was a freshman in college that was like 2014 it's now 2023 so i know how to do it now but um if you're just starting out or if you are about to do a protective style um you know a scalp check might be beneficial just so that 
you know, you don't get to the blowout process and you're like, my scalp is flaking. So with this conditioner, you're only supposed to leave it in for two minutes. So I'm gonna follow the instructions and I'm gonna hurry up and try and just work this through all of the sections. Look at my chair, poor chair. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and work this through all of the sections and then I'm just going to follow directions and leave it in for two minutes. Um, with protein treatments, I don't play that, oh, you know, I'm gonna leave it in for three hours and blah, 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 blah. Like, it's not gonna work after a certain point. It actually might become like counterproductive. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly detangle real quick. Just get some of the shed hair out because there's a little bit of shed hair in my hair right now. I'm noticing. Okay, so I kind of got all of the shed hairs out, just like a really quick light detangling. But yeah, when it comes to these protein treatments, I don't play because I definitely have protein sensitive hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this timer and quit playing around. Um, and then I'm gonna go rinse this out. And then we can get into the blow drying process. What do I do? And how do I ensure that I'm not getting heat damage? Okay, so now that I have thoroughly rinsed out the two minute reconstructor, I'm gonna be going in with a couple of products. I'm gonna try and keep it like pretty light because with braiding, you don't wanna have so much product in your hair and then you go get it braided and then your hair like turns white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a very light spray and leave-in conditioner. And this is also by Carol's Daughter, the Black Vanilla. Um, and then I'm gonna be trying out a new heat protectant today, which is just the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. I'm pretty sure everybody and their grandmama doesn't use this, but I have not tried it yet. I saw it at Target and I was like, okay, like I'm about to get my hair done. I need something really quick. Before that, um, I was, oops, using the Agave Lavender Leave-In, and this is a protectant serum, and this is a protectant spray. And I really like this one, it is $12, um, and I guess I just, I don't really see it in the stores that often, I usually get it at US Hair, but <clears throat> I just didn't have time to go to US Hair. So I was like, I'm gonna just get this, cause I'm always at Target. So I'm gonna let you guys know how I like it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna work good. So, all I do is just section my hair off into four sections. Okay, so now that I have my hair sectioned off into four sections, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this in there pretty liberally, because we don't want dry hair. Like, I know we want light products, but we don't want our hair to be dry either. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly detangle this just feels so wrong like detangling with a spray in leave-in but luckily with my hair being trimmed like it doesn't feel like i'm breaking my hair off whereas when i was not keeping up with my trims oh no my hair would have been like ma'am ma'am try again try uh try again so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually just detangle all four sections before I start blow drying. Cause I don't want, what I don't want to happen is this section, these four sections dry out. Cause we all know trying to detangle dry hair with no product in it, like it's gonna be a no for me. Okay, so I just got done detangling my hair. So basically all I'm gonna be doing is going in with this heat tamer spray. It says apply liberally. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to start off with medium heat to dry the hair predominantly. And then once I get to the end, I'm going to seal it off with high heat. And then I'll also be using a tangle teaser. Ideally, if I had a blow dryer with a comb attachment, that would be the best option, but I don't have that. Oh, this is really cool. There's like a lock and unlock thing here. I also wanted to mention that I got another trim 
two two weeks ago so my hair is very healthy right now um i've just noticed like i've been able to just detangle it really easily because before i was not detangling nothing with no liquid liquid leave-in no spray and leave-in Okay, so now all of my hair has been blown out and it is currently 1029. So it's probably taken me, I wanna say about 45 to 50 minutes to blow all of my hair out because I really wanted to make sure I took my time and just like did it very thoroughly because I don't want when I get there for them to have to like reapply heat or anything like that. But I don't know if you guys have seen like my first video where I was showing you guys how I do my mini twists versus this video, but like my hair just looks so much more like shapely and like even. So I'm gonna say it like a million times, but I recommend really getting a trim routine. So the next step, and this is optional, but I really want to make sure I don't have any like curly roots. So all I'm gonna do is go in with this Perfector by, I don't know who this is by. Oh, by Maria McCool. Um, this is my mom, she got it from QVC, but basically it um, it's like a straightening brush, I guess you could say. I'm only gonna like run it through a little bit and it gets, it goes from 325 to 395. So it doesn't really get that hot. Okay guys, so it is now the morning and I just stopped by the gas station and got my little thing on, try not to like be out here exposing myself. But I just got some snacks because it's gonna be like eight to four is what the calendar invite says. So I got this Slim Jim Spicy. Um, I got this Lenny's and Larry's cookie. Um, it's, these are like really good. They have like 16 grams of protein. Um, how many calories it's like 440 so it's a really good snack for if you can't like get somewhere to eat something and then i got some plantain chips as well just just for like something like starchy but still not unhealthy so those are like my little snack options and then i also got these corn nuts um, they're cheesy with the Z because I have a dairy allergy and then also I just have this body armor light my husband got me those two snacks a couple of days ago so I was like well I didn't eat them yet so I might as well just throw them into my little snack bag but um, I just got a text my braider is running like 15 minutes behind which is actually perfect for me because um it's like 737 and the braid place is like I want to say like 25 minutes away so I'm just gonna be heading over that way and then I will meet you guys when I get there so see you guys soon okay guys so I made it here I am currently just in the bathroom but this is a little OOTD got on this like comfy matching set some Steve Madden's and my hood still so I don't get exposed. I'm not exposed, but super excited. <laughs>
Okay guys, so I just got out of the salon. It is now currently, well, it's 522. I got out of the salon a minute ago, but I'm just sitting in the car. I think I got done around 445, 5-ish. So in total, it took about eight hours, like the calendar invite said. But I am really loving this, you guys. Like it looks so good. The braids are small. Well, they're extra small. Last year I got them small, but I wanted them extra small this year because, um, you know, we're going to be going swimming and stuff like that. So I didn't want them like too big so my hair doesn't curl out of them. But I am really feeling this. I feel like it, I don't know, I'm just really feeling like it's giving the vacation vibe. So uh, when I get home, I will give you guys like a full body shot of what the hair looks like. But yeah, so far I am very, very happy, so. Hey guys, it is officially been like five days. So yeah, this is what the hair is looking like. Still looking very fresh. Um, this is what it looks like from the back. She did such an amazing job and it's the exact length that I wanted. I've never, I don't think I've ever had it this long before, but I feel like for vacation, I really wanted something a little bit more long and fun. So this is the final look. She uses 100% human hair on her curly pieces, which is really good because the hair is not matting and tangling up from what I've heard from other people. So I definitely recommend her if you are in the Columbus area. Um, her name is Sarai and these were extra small butt length. I believe it was 575 so it is a little bit expensive but i definitely think it's worth it because they last me two months and she uses human hair so there's not going to be that tangling problem and she just did an absolutely amazing job so so that is going to be the end of today's video please make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys